Before we move on, let's back up and look at the whole process that we're engaging in and make sure that we're all on the same page with our goal. We're starting with the data. By itself, that raw data isn't able to tell a story. It's not yet organized into information. We need to work with that data. We're going to manage it. We're going to organize it. We're going to summarize it. Along the way, we're going to discover the patterns that are in that data and we're going to create visualizations. Our goal at the end is to produce a write-up or a narrative that informs our audience and tells our interpretation of the patterns in that data. We will add the visualizations. And those are going to allow our audience to see the patterns, to really see the patterns and help them understand the data story. Data doesn't only have one story it can tell. As the author, you will make decisions along the way as to what to emphasize, how to organize the information. Your story is going to be slightly different than other people's. As you go through this tutorial, I'm going to ask you periodically to pause and to copy information from Excel and to paste it into a Word document and to add a few sentences that describe the pattern that you're seeing. So you'll be adding tables or graphs and a few sentences that describe the pattern along the way. After you've done that, you're going to want to revise and edit your write-up, make sure it flows logically. You're probably going to reorganize the points so that they are, that you're telling a very coherent, logical, organized story that is as simple as it can be in order to convey the information. At the end of this tutorial, you can see a sample write-up. You can compare yours and see if you made the same decision, see if you emphasized the same patterns in your version, see if you chose the same logic and presentation order. Now, you're not gonna be turning in these write-ups from the tutorials the, uh, for your own edification where you can practice and compare and think about whether you are understanding the process. I really encourage you to do them as practice because there will be times during the quarter, later on in the quarter, where you will be turning in write-ups and you won't have a sample write-up to, to uh, compare to. Don't forget to review both the rubric and the design guidelines for the narratives. Those are going to give you the information you need in order to um, create the best narrative you can. You can find those on the website. All right, let's get going.